And good afternoon, folks. It's time to continue on our Mass Effect playthrough. Last time we played it, we were looking for the Doctor, Liara Tassoni. Trying to find out what she knows about the artifacts. And, well, well that's where we're headed, so that's what we're going to do. Hopefully it goes well. We did get knocked out once or twice. Not really good at combat, is what I'm trying to say. So hopefully it'll go a bit better. Our radar's jammed, so that's not good. It's fine, though. I got a robot down there. And down he goes. Oh, there's another robot. Let's throw him. Okay, that was not a throw. I think I threw the, uh, the container. Negative contacts. Well, we'll do a quick save. Now let's carry on. We should look to see if there's no... I think this is the exit when we come back. However, <coughs> we need to go down here. I'm, sh I'm sure they'll join me, and they did. So, let's check out our items. Oh, we got a shield regenerator, hardened weave, more goodies. Ooh, combat sensor. I'm going to take that. Level 3 enemy detection. Nice. Still using our chemical rounds. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Armor piercing. We'll give him some accuracy. And Tally. I don't even know what she's using right now. Oh, she's using the. I think she's using the shotgun. I mean, I'd have to check. What you use in tally? Does that look like a shotgun? We'll space bar once we get off the elevator. We'll we'll find out pretty quickly. All right, she uses the shotgun as well. So let's give her a decent shotgun. I like the banshee too. Looks pretty good. Well, that's not it's not a shotgun that's an assault rifle there we go we'll give her um, improved sighting give her shotgun and yeah armor piercing rounds as well hey there night show long time no see thank you very much how you doing uh let's see i don't think we have anything any points to put in those are our levels, by the way. Oh, got enemies. We're going down the elevator. So you play a um, Super Mario World ROM hack. How did that go? It looked interesting, but I didn't uh, have the chance to watch it. Well, much of it. I watched like three minutes. Now oh, there's the blueberry. I 
Someone's shouting. This place is crawling with geth. Sorry, I am a little... Look, my name is Dr. Liara Tsunami. I am an archaeologist. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! All right. You shouldn't have been messing with technology you don't understand. I wasn't going to let the Geth capture me. Besides, I know how it works. Mostly. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Krogan, eh? We're pretty good fighters. Kill them all. Oh, well, we got contact. Simple and easy. Oh, got someone else. <coughs> Sorry about that. Perimeter secured. There we go. Area not clear of enemies. Oh, I think we got a sniper there. That's right. We're about to see Liara, the blueberry. Do we even have the code? Oh. This might take a while. Punched a hole through here. I'm sure nothing wrong will happen with that. Oh, oh did not find any items. Something here. Shut 
there we go. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably sure wants thing. you to no help problem. Him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. Just gonna need a uh, what the hell was that? pause here. These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker! Get the norm of the airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. If I die in here, I'll kill him. There we go. That should be a bit better. A bit louder, at least. And there's our buddy. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! I like your attitude. Flipping through the wall there. Damn, I got killed. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Yeah, I definitely need to get good. Joker, get the norm of the airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. La last time I played this, I had the, uh... Shepard as a soldier. And, uh was using Liara and Tally since they were both uh, masters of their own uh, type. She was technical or engineer and she was biotic. So where's the guy? Whoa. I got warped. Ah. 
Oh well. I have to do that again. My throat wasn't strong enough. I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Sevens looking for me? Joke off! Yeah, I can't take a hit, like, at all. My shields are useless. We're stuck. Okay. We got him. <laughs> the only way I can win by cheating. Commander, ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Sometimes jokers are real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prophean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50 years? How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. Who could but it be? Here's the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. 
And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. We're in a hurry here. Get to the point. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappear. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. <laughs> You're not much of an expert, Doctor. The answer's been standing in front of you the whole time. The Protheans were wiped out by a race of machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. <laughs> Looks like we wasted our time here. Damn. Wait, Commander. Saren might try another attempt on my life. I'd feel safer if you let me stay on your ship. Besides, my knowledge of the Protheans might prove useful later. And probiotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Great, another alien. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Let's go talk to the Council. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. <laughs> I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. Uh... I love bitchy, uh, bitchy Shepherd. She's great. Um, guess we can go talk to the crew. We'll go talk to Chakwas. Here, nope. Commander, do you have a minute? I know. Make it quick, Lieutenant. I have a lot on my mind. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the Council. Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here. But someone isn't reading it. We've got our orders. Belly aching won't change them. I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. It's funny, we finally get out here and the 
final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. I'm sure your letters home are very poignant. Just keep this kind of sentimentality out of the CIC. Yes, ma'am. Sorry to have wasted your time. I'm right about the mission, though. You know it. It's all right. I got time for this shit. I'm gonna go downstairs. Talk to the other aliens. Like Ashley. Got Rex. We've got Garrus over there. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten to the core. Tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have. I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freight. Our biggest haul yet. I was <coughs> on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke. <coughs> Sorry. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Shit. Are your people really dying? No, that's not. Uh, we're sure not getting any stronger. Has nothing to do with that last thing. Out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I'd buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I'm not sure I believe it either. It's better to have her where we can see her. That makes sense. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. It's not normal for an enlisted to speak informally with the commander. I figured since the crew was so small, you might be more permissive. I mean, that helmsman of yours. Most places, he'd be at Captain's Mast every day. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. Damn. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You're out of line. That's enough, Chief. You always second-guess your superiors? Ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm sorry. I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. That's right. How you doing? Looking for supplies? Not right now, thanks. Oops. No problem. Keep checking back. I will. Hello. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. All right. So we got eighteen thousand. We can probably sell some stuff, like level one stuff. 
you know, we never really uh, installed that. So 14, that's worth nothing. I don't think I'll even bother selling stuff. Yeah, definitely not worth it. What about buying? What can we buy? We can buy a level four. Could we buy an armor? Oh, we could buy an armor. Uh, we can't wear it though. That's a shame. Yeah, it's like the fourth session. The, uh, the start is really slow. Oh, yeah, you might be right. Or I might want to convert it into gel. We don't really have gel. Alright, with grenades, let's install that. We will sell that. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure, I'm sure it won't backfire on us. We didn't speak to Tally, but whatever. Yes, Commander. Carry Bye. on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. All right, back to the map. Now we had two other missions. I forgot where, though. Novaria and Pharos. Let's go to Novaria. It's closer. I think all characters are pretty interesting. Message coming in. Oh. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Masana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. Oh? I mean, we can do a little detour, get, get back to the Citadel. Side job, a little hustle. We had other missions, I should probably check them out. I did not, at least not yet. Uh, to get out was that way, I think. How do we get out of this damn thing? Get me out of this hellhole. Oh, doctor. Doctor, doctor. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? 
Well, we already talked about that. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I had to save you. You can help me stop Saren. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Venezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Promises are easy to make, but hard to keep. I do not begrudge you your suspicions. I just hope in time you will come to trust me. Do you know why Venezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought aligning herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. Any chance she's in this for power or personal gain? No, not the Benezia I knew. But I hadn't spoken with my mother in many years. She may have changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. <laughs> so you'll have sex with anything? Damn. Rumors that started. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. This blueberry is wild. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long-term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. They eat the head. Few Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The Union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Do you know who Matriarch Venezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long Duh. before we space flight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult to my life. Ew. It is possible Venezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Why agree to the union if she didn't want any children? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Venezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity.
All right. Goodbye. Well, volume should be okay. But it is uh, it is quiet though. Wait, how do we get out? Trying to remember where's the door. It's been too long. Alright then, let's see if I can't crank it up even more, but hopefully it's not too loud. Tally, we don't need to talk to Tally. Where's the door? It's not a big ship. I should be able to find the door. Trapped forever in the ship. Sorry, I can't accept the mission. I'm still stuck in the ship. Personnel manual. Sleeper pod. Oh, level up. All right. Four points. Damn. Well, we wanted unity so we can revive everyone. Uh, what else? Throw would be pretty useful. We could get marksman. That's that's in a while. Yeah, let's uh, let's start getting throw. Maybe lift as well. Yeah, let's check out the map. That doesn't help me. Okay. Oh, it's by the bridge. There it is. Uh, let's bring, I don't know, who do we bring? I'll, I'll let chat decide. It doesn't really matter, though. someone else. Let's bring Rex. Our go to squad. Interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. 
The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. Admiral, I'm on urgent business with the Citadel. Is there something you need? Let's get one thing clear, Shepard. You might be a specter to the aliens, but to me, you're just another junior officer. Be respectful. I command the Not on my watch. Attila. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. When the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever, they got them on our ship and you. I wasn't keen on it either, but there are advantages to being above the law. Don't let the title go to your head. No one's above the law. <laughs> I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin. This ship has saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Normandy is an Alliance warship, but she's on loan to the Citadel. That means she's not in your chain of command. I believe there's something wrong with my ears. Did you just contradict me? This ship is council property right now. So respectfully, please clear the gangway. Get out of my face. Out of your way, Commander. But expect me to file a report on this. Get out of here. It's my ship. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. <gasps> While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Mike's just being a contrarian. So we needed to go to the Presidium. Oh. Commander Shepard? Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? I'm not in the mood, Miss Al Jalani. People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? I don't have time to justify myself to your viewers. I have a galaxy to save. Excuse me. Your choice, Shepard. Ain't got time for this. attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Hmm. Makes sense. We ain't got time for the media, the fake news. It's around here, right? Yeah. Somewhere around the Presidium. I don't remember where exactly. Probably near the... Diplomat. Commander Shepard, I am Masana Dantius. I see you got my message. You said you had a job offer. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. 
her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. You want me to hunt down the people who killed her? This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. What? The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. You can't negotiate with criminals. <laughs> it's too late. I transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. You got in over your head and you expect me to pull you out? This is easy money for you, Shepard. I've already found her. You just need to bring her back. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. I'll do it. I'll bring your sister back. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right woman for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. All right, well, let's go back to the ship. So, Artemis Tau. Can do that. Simple enough. Probably other quests, but I'm not gonna run around uh, for the whole stream in the Citadel. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Hmm. That could be another quest. Oh, we forgot to talk to the guy. Presley. It was Presley? No. It was another commander who wanted to find out what happened to his team in the uh, Citadel. We could go talk to him. Should probably do that. Hope you guys love elevators, cuz. How can you fight your own people, Rex? There aren't that many of you left. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business, killing the former is a favor to the universe. A. I wonder if we'll get any reward for that. I hope we will. Well, this will be a colossal waste of time. position for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. What do you want me to do? I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. 
I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on the terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. All right. I don't know where that is, though. Control room? It's probably not in the tower. No, I'm waiting. Commander, any word on my missing men? I found them. Well, what was left of them. They ran into a thresher mall. A uh, thresher mall? That's not. My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. <laughs> problem. I don't have time for this. You've already done enough, Shepard. The rest is up to me. All right, got some money, got some XP. Yeah, probably. Tower control. Traffic control over there. What's up, Chellic? Good to see you, Good to see you too. Plant bug. Bug has been planted. All right. Well, now I think we can get out of here. Well, we could probably go talk to uh, to Wong. Getting readings. This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna show this to my publisher. Oh, oh no, Paragon. Damn, I messed up. I'm not pure evil. Run ruined. Then again, we should probably start, I don't know, increasing our paragon points. Rex, forgive the impertinence, but you are not like the Krogan described in the stories on the flotilla. When you're young, you go looking for every fight you can. You get older. You realize the best fights will find you. It's deep. Everyone's gonna die as a result of that article. Small price to pay to save some lives. All 
right, back to the ship. We're going to the Artemis Tau cluster. And we'll probably go to Novaria. And yeah, that's that's about it. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in pro Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Get out of here, Presley. <laughs> or we can go to Ferox. Ferox. Ferox or Ferox? Message coming in. Oh. Patching it through. Commander Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. I don't blame you for blowing her off. She should have made a request through channels. I have PR people doing spin control, rule of medic engineering, and people will forget about this in a week. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth fleet out. <laughs> That was Ferros Tau. Which one was it, though? I'll check out Sparta. came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kaoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The one was killed by the Thrasher War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. Cerberus? Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This, this is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Oh no. Not like this. You know, there must be a quest log, right? Somewhere. So I, I could land here, but why? my quest log. No, that's not my quest log. It's the codex. Missions. There we go. Assignments. The fan. Fifteen out of twenty-one. Not bad. Hostage, there we go. Farinata system.
Oh. Nice done. It was the, the wrong quest. Oops. That's embarrassing. Nice done. Cool, cool. Gas deposit. All right, well. Go check out this little area. Uh, who are we bringing along this time for the rescue mission? Are we go in Tally and Rex again, or are we go in Ashley and Kaiden, Liara and Garrus? Liara and Tally? Ashley and Rex? Garrus Liera. You know, it didn't didn't level up Liera, so I should probably do that. So I don't even know what she's using. Oh boy, thirty points. Best warped singularity. Fence throw, lift. Barrier. Master throw, could advance lift, advance singularity. You know what? Garrus, uh, advance sabotage. Damping. Right, that seems about right. Okay, so where do we go? Well, there's debris here, anomaly, and stronghold. Let's go check out the debris first. Yeehaw. Honestly, this is the best part of Mass Effect. Uh-oh. Who's driving this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here. 
go. Shoot. Oh no, I failed it. I can't believe I failed that. It's embarrassing. Shield Regenerator, three stimulant pack. Ooh, cooldown reduction, 9% is pretty big though. I'm gonna take that. Give you shield regeneration. That'll give Garrus. Yeah, we don't have any weapons anymore. I sold everything. All right, let's check out the map. Let's go check out the anomaly. The only problem, I think, is um, I should probably have Tally most of the time because she has max decryption or electronics, which, you know, probably will help us out quite... Oh, we got, we got some, uh, some hostiles here. Maka was made out of jello, clearly. It's so bouncy. Alright, what do we have here? Got some boxes. The sorry capsule. Area map. Do you want to help us out? <laughs> All right. Enough. Hey, some minerals over there. That wasn't on the map. Finally, the minerals. All right, uh, that should be easy enough. Ooh, thorium. Give you some of that money. Talking about Mineral Z, it's, has there been any news about that uh, reforged version of Warcraft 3 at all? Everyone's just talk. whoa, who's driving? Everyone's just talking about WoW Classic right now? Geth. Pirate Sniper. There we go. 
Uh oh, we're in trouble. Let's get out of here. We're safe. I don't want to brag, but I truly am a tactical genius. Well, I could probably get off. Area secured. Weapons hot. What are you using, Garrus? Use your real gun. Alright, let's move. Got a pirate over there. Hey, we get a level. You must die. Oh, someone's still here. I'll kill you. There we 
go. I think that's everyone. Perimeter secured. All right. Well, gain the level. Uh. Yeah, I wanted to at least get master decryption, so I don't have to have Tally around constantly. Not that she's a bad unit. Mind if I do? Oh, they suck! Damn. Yeah, I'll take the Avenger 3. It's a lot of damage. Striker 3, have a combat sensor. Shield tank there. Banshee 4. Some medium armors. Can I even wear a medium armor? I don't think so. Damn. Damn. Banshee 4, that should be great for. What? Liara doesn't really use an assault rifle. She uses a pistol. And no one else is going to use medium armor. That's a shame. I wish I had the light armor. I think Ashley uses uh, heavy armor, and I think Kaiden uses uh, medium. I wish I was using heavy armor instead of this paper uh, paper armor. Oh, so upgrade kit. Ah, damn. A lot of good items here. I wanted to go fancy. What did he mean by this? Hammerhead rounds. Oh. I think we have one more fight around here. Nothing here. All right, well. Well, functioning object. Cryo explosive. Oh, that looks neat. Let's check it out. You know those grenades I never use? Sure, why not? I'm 
imagine that's pretty good with the shotgun. Ah. God damn it. Can't believe we missed out on some items. Damn my decryption skill. If only I had one extra level. Oh well, it's not it's not a huge deal. It's a shame. Return with Tally, yeah, it's not worth it. Not worth it. All right, let's go home. Well, we could go back to the Citadel or we can check out more. systems and where though I don't think there's a hand in this system yeah, okay uh, let me just double check to be sure. Gemini and Hades. going to come out by the end of the year Mike good to know thanks for looking at that for me So who are we taking this time? humans we're gonna have to level them up because I haven't used them since the first mission all right so 
defense throw. the abilities and Ashley Ashley will give her a good uh, assault rifle true soldier. Alright Ashley, here's the Banshee 4. Hope you enjoy it. Give you some anti-personnel rounds. And Kaiden, I don't know. It's not as strong, but it's more accurate. And Ashley, you can wear the heavy armor. Phoenix 3. All right. We ready to roll. Let's check out the map. Well, we've got debris here. Oh boy. Time for some mountain climbing. Easy, right? Man, if driving was as fun as this... Unfortunately, you're not allowed to drive a tank in Canada, I think. You know, I've never really checked. Time to invest the Patreon money into that. It'll be for a good cause. I wonder how much a tank is. It mustn't be like 20 million. Like 800 grand.
Even less? Damn. All cleared. Now where's the entrance? Right over here. All right. Well, it seems very calm. Surely nothing will attack us here. I got red dot. Weapons live. It's overheated my weapons. There's only one guy left, so I don't know where he is. Crime Lord defeated! Must be some goodies in here. Somewhere. Oh, 
Ooh, biotics. Nice. Let's check that out. Cooldown bonus. I'll take that. Ooh, some armor for uh, for Garrus there, and we've got a new multi-tool. I mean, looks pretty good. All right, that's done here. Let's go check out the uh, the other room. Heat sinks, first aid. There's gotta be something good in here. Heat sinks, toxic seals. Chameleon, Phoenix 3, Scimitar. That's it. Kill the other crime boss then. Now we on experience. Oh, looking pretty good. Next fight we have, we'll probably gain a level, and then I'll get the uh, final decryption. Might not be the right cluster though. We'll have to, uh. Well, I can always survey the planets while we're here. here but I mean we can land here might as well uh, who are we bringing along we did the humans we did Garrison Liara and I imagine we'll go tally Rex I mean, it doesn't even mean we're going to fight with them. God damn, your head is huge. Let's give him some immunity. Get his throw a bit better. So what's on here? 
Anomaly research base. Research base? Do I have a quest here? Well, we'll find out once we get there, I guess. up there. Some kind of probe. Capsule. Debris. Hmm. Well, it gives us some experience and we're 500 away from another level. No, I was wondering actually if. Uh... Whoa! I was wondering if you could um, have a tank in Canada. Actually, uh, Sidious looked it up. You actually can have a tank. So you'll have to hook me up there, Mike. Oh, I'll farm all right. Farm some souls. And again, I, well, I probably wouldn't use it. I'd live in it, live in it, become the tank guy of Canada. Get out of the tank, tank guy. You can't live like this. We got, we got an enemy there. We got multiple enemies there. Took out scavengers. They did nothing wrong. We just came in blasting. Oh, jeez. Well, 
Okay. Okay. That research base I have an X on it. Of course, he would have some C4 on his farm. He has to plant it. Hey! Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm done. It was the joke of the day. Oh. What's over here? Those probes destroyed. I don't think I need to go to that research base. Well, we'll check it out, anyways. There might be stuff to kill, and that's what really matters. It's deserted. Huh. Interesting. Why is it deserted? According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. We can go check that out then. So where is the excavation site? It's done well. Not really, but it might be. Oh, obviously. I'm not a monster. here curiosity killed the cat husks weapons live
unearthed some alien technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Not like Whatever they found is long gone now. Not like this. Am I playing on heart? Yes. Yes, I am. Why am I playing on heart? Because of the chat. Throw a bit better. Must be some goodies in here. It's not. Oh shit! Didn't. Hopefully they're... Yeah, that was elevator news. A bit of goodies. Well, it wasn't really worth it, but we gained a level, and now, now we can master, master, so we won't need to lug around Tally ever again, nor Garrus. They'll be benched forever. Let's creep here. Hey, armor for... Rex here, looking pretty good. Store four. So, let's get out of here. 
got scary, but we managed to pull through somehow. Grenades really helped out. All right, take us home. And I think on that, we'll call it there for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.